Hello, my dear aquarellistas. I hope everything is well with you. Here, all is fine. We probably have two or three more uh, challenges to go, and this is number 13. I hope it will bring you luck. And the challenge is paint your own version of a famous painting. In this case, uh, Terrace at Night. And that's an oil painting originally by Vincent van Gogh and he painted it in Arles in 1888. The idea is that you create your own version with your own inspiration, maybe your starry nights, whatever, or to practice your van Gogh side and try to copy it as well as you can in watercolors. I look very much forward to seeing your versions. And the demo of today will be how to use watercolor crayons. Good luck with it and see you soon. Bye bye. So uh, watercolor pencils are not my usual stuff, uh, but there are plus sides to them. Uh, for instance, you can really do sharp corners with them and work very fine. And if you work outside, you can just bring two or three and they're easy to transport. And with, you know, one of these brushes with water in them, in the little reservoir, you just, you know, need a tiny little etui. And where we also use them is in life drawing, as in this example. Uh, you just need a thick line and then a brush with a bit of clear water and you can make your shadows very easily. They give a really good effect. So this is lines and then picking up a bit of pigment from the lines to get your shadows. And as you can see that has a nice effect. So it's good for this type of spontaneous work with lines. The next way to use your watercolor uh, pencils is uh, to uh, create volume by hatching. And uh, that means that you color a whole surface. And you do this, this with tiny little stripes from dark to light. thing is, to my opinion, with the uh, watercolor pencils is that the pigment they have is very heavy and fatty. So if you pick up the, uh, the pigment that you have put in with your pencils, it always becomes quite dark. The advantage of this is of course that you can also, if you go outside, just prepare a couple of good colors and pick them up from a piece of paper with a wet brush. have to do is start if you use this technique start with the lighter side because that heavy pigment is also staying on your brush so if you start with the dark side your brush will have a lot of pigment on it and you won't see the lighter part but you can see that if you use it like this the effect is pretty much the same as with what color paint in the little uh, boxes that we have. You can use your pencils dry and that is what we've done here. So you, draw, you uh, draw first with a dry pencil and then you apply uh, some uh, water. Very thin or very thick with a dry pencil and then you add a bit of water. And most of the time you use that as your shadows, but you make it darker by applying a bit of uh, water or fluid. And the other possibility is that you actually wet the pencil. So you put it in the water or you wet it with your brush. I'm doing that here and you can't see it, sorry. <laughs> 
but that way you get a very very dark color wet color that you can then also use your wet brush on and also you can use the pigment of your uh, watercolor pencil and that I think is quite an interesting way to get to add texture to your um, to your painting and you do that using a sanding piece of sanding pa sandpaper and rubbing your dry uh, watercolor pencil against that and then it will you know the, the pigment grains will fall down and give a pretty nice effect. Here's another example where I put a little piece of masking tape on top of wet paint and then added uh, some watercolor pencil grains on it and then if you remove the masking tape it hasn't you know uh, stained the uh, the part where the uh, uh, tape was and here's another example of beautiful hair drawn with the watercolor pencil and then used water but not on the white parts and as you can see that gives a nice shine on the hair and then on the dress, I uh, made the, uh, the skirt wet and put the grains on them. And then you blow it off and it doesn't stain on the, uh, on the un not wet part. And that was it. Thank you very much and see you soon.